YouTube channel. Now this video, it will be a follow up from uh, where we have stopped on previously in physics SPM chapter 5.5 dash 1 meaning this is uh, an extra from uh, it's a continuation from uh, what we have gone through where we stopped till uh, transmutation and then we got to find out the mass of an carbon atom this is the mass of one atom of carbon and then uh, how to convert it into AMU atomic mass unit which is actually the mass of one particle over the left then uh, we've gone through the uh, mass defect then eventually we've gone through the uh, Einstein principle of mass energy conver conservation E equals mc squared okay then I uh, will show you how to use it in one of those uh, model question example would be we start off with uh, a transmutation process whereby uh, an element is actually transformed into another okay it's actually a radioactive decay of one element transferred into another by the following uh, equation we're using a uh, 235 uranium okay where you're talking about uranium so there are total 92 proton and this is considered a too big nucleus right I mean they have gone through what they have gone through right so what happened when uh, you have this one atom of uranium and you induce or you introduce a neutron meaning you include a neutron so what happened it will absorb into this uh, uranium then later we'll talk about uh, there are actually two types of process one is called nuclear fission and nuclear fusion for this case we'll talk about nuclear fission so one neutron is absorbed to the nucleus of the uranium or the heavy nucleus what happened it would then we we'll have a chain reaction so there are many possibility one of it is uh, you get 141 barium to 6 from a huge molecule heavy molecule to a more stable nucleus okay plus um, 92 krypton krypton you will care to look from the periodic table is actually 6 and then what happened you get 3 nucleus okay this is actually one of the example for we name it as nuclear fission SSION so one way to actually remember it is double S okay fission S meaning segregate meaning a big nucleus big nucleus is separated into a smaller nuclei so I would write here so you have a big nucleus okay you may go through the YouTube and look for how the nucleus look like it's not actually a circle but for simplicity I would draw the circle right so what happened a big nucleus one atom of nucleus what happened you introduce a neutron and then a neutron is actually absorbed into a heavy nucleus what happened it would then split it was split into two a smaller more stable nucleus and what happened the nucleus will comes out eventually the original nucleus from over the left I mean this is the original nucleus that it was being absorbed initially together with two additional one two that could most probably be formed during the process 
and therefore you have one big heavy nucleus once you absorb a neutron this nucleus will therefore not stable even more stable not stable even more not stable separate into two smaller nuclei or this is called a daughter nucleus of course with energy in the process of releasing it okay then this process is called the nuclear fission S stand for segregate segregate means separate okay and this is one of the example and uh, let's calculate you know the amount of mass defect okay we have gone through with you yesterday so or previous video mass defect mass defect is actually the difference of mass between the left and with the right so in those questions they'll normally they will provide you with uh, the AMU for the uranium for the neutron for the barium and krypton okay so uh, or otherwise we will be in a in the table of uh, constant so what happened let's find out what is before and what's after you use all what you have in the left subtract with the right so I'm going to do it here with you and lay it out for you so for uranium the MU is uh, 2 3 5 dot 0 4 AMU neutron I actually I'm reading it out from the book where you can get this standard with more decimal places I believe it doesn't really matter it's uh, you need to emphasize on the methodology instead of just number so in this case if you want to find a mass defect you sum what happened on the left and then you subtract with those on the right because it will be different you have to find a small difference uh, barium it's uh, 140.91 AMU and then plus 91.93 plus 3 times 1.01 .01 square bracket unit would therefore turns out to be 0 0.18 AMU And this is what you need to find out what's the energy. You cannot use AMU and substitute here because the unit for mass is kg. And from what I have given, uh, told you in my previous video, one AMU, it's 1.66 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kg. Okay, by knowing this relationship, the smallest, uh, minus 27. So what happened? You convert it. If in the event you know that 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27 kg is equivalent to 0. Point, oh, is equal to 1 amu. Oh, it should be the other way around. Okay, so we have 1 amu is equivalent to 1.66 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kg so if I were to have 0 0.18 18 mu therefore it will be 0 0.18 divided by the number above it times the number across it the unit will be kg so therefore the answer here would be also equivalent to 2.988 times 10 to the power of minus 28 kg so this is we talk about uh, one atom okay this is a matter of one atom is equivalent to this mass defect okay from uranium to the two daughter nuclei so therefore it will be quite straightforward now so therefore the amount of energy 
So therefore, the energy in terms of joule would be therefore equals to this number 2.988 10 minus 28 m. This is the mass. C is the speed of light. So be sure you do not forget this square. Previously, some of my students always forget about this square. They will forget to key in this number into their calculator. And joule it will be the unit. So therefore, you will get 2.69 times 10 power of negative 11 joule and this is the energy for one atom this is a mass defect caused by one atom okay so this is how the uh, how you use it you may pause this video and then uh, rewind to the previous few minutes where you have uh, missed and then uh, Eventually, you were able to uh, apply it, but uh, based on what you have seen here, it's rather straightforward, and I'm sure you can uh, actually get used to it, right? Then, oh, in some cases, some books, in some exercise, they ask you to convert it further. How many? This number is equivalent to how many electron volt, right? Now, for the case of electron volt. For the case of electron volt, we have one electron volt is equals to 1.6. It's a charge of an electron. 10 minus 19 joule. Okay, so electron volt from what we have learned from uh, ph physics chapter four is actually voltage, where the energy required to bring a charge from one end to another, perhaps positive to negative, in order to bring a charge from one end to another, what is the amount of energy? Okay, uh, I think we are. You need to refer to my chapter four physics, SPM physics chapter four in form five syllabus. Okay, then if you know this, and uh, I have this number two point six nine times ten minus. 11. So therefore, if my energy for one atom, you have calculated earlier as 2.69 times 10 to the minus of 11 joule. So you want to convert it to uh, EV. So what you do, you need to divide it with a charge. You divide it with an electron charge. would be in electron volt okay. um, this is something that the student failed to answer because they have forgotten how to do it in the first place you get a huge number and then you convert it in prefix it will turns out to be like what 0 0.168 times 10 to the power of 9 that would be giga right times 10 to the power of 9 that would be giga electron volt so this is some new trick for you all you need to do is to know this relationship. <coughs> Excuse me. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 joule. If you know this, then you can easily convert it into EV. Now, from the same question here, nuclear fission. They can ask many types of thing. Since we know that uh, this 
amount of mass will give amount of energy. Now, part two, it will be energy you can get energy release by say now I have five gram of uranium two three five okay if you were given if you have five gram of uranium how much energy will you get Sounds like a very tricky question because you're like, hey, how do you get five gram? So you come back to the principle. Earlier, we have calculated the equation given is actually for one atom. So one atom, you will get this amount of energy. One atom gets this amount of energy. The next thing you do is you need to find out how many atoms are there in five gram. So if you know how many atoms are there in five gram, then all you need to do convert it and you times this number then you get the answer okay so let's come back to one mole in chemistry we have learned right one mole one mole of uranium 235 okay in mass the same as with the own mass 235 gram and this 235 gram of uranium they are how many atom? It's actually equivalent to the Avogadro number, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Okay. So therefore, in five gram. So therefore, in five gram. Five gram. So they are going to have five over. 2, 3, 5, 5 divided by the number above times the number across 6.02 times 10, 23 atoms. So in the exam later, it will be nice that if you lay out line by line, then it's easier for you to do. You don't want to do it the other way around. 6.20 times equals to 5 grams. So you do it the other way around, then you, it's very hard for you to do the conversion. So you stick with gram, how many gram equals how many atoms. So if you have 5 gram equals how many atoms. You need to do it systematically. Then eventually you get the answer. It turns out to be now I have 1.28 times 10 to the power of 22 atoms. Okay, you need to verify this number. Use a calculator. You pause this video. And then you verify if you get this number. So now you have this amount of number this amount of atom how many energy can you get okay now previously you get this or this number so you have this number so therefore the energy 5 gram therefore B I make use of the joule first okay so this is a uh, this amount of energy so this amount of energy this is for one atom and then Here's another color for you to see. This is amount of atom. Therefore, the answer could be surprisingly huge. That would be uh, 22, 11. So therefore, you would get 3.44 times 10 to the power of 11 joule. This is huge. If you convert to EV, it's even bigger. So we are talking about only 5 gram. Imagine if you have 1 kg, then you times 200 of it, then it's even bigger. So there's a reason to why people will have been using a nuclear reactor to generate electricity. Because all you need is only 5 gram, and you eventually you get this amount of energy. Power 11 is huge. Amount of energy. Right, you may actually go through the others question, but this is actually the basic of it on how to use those equation in the exam that normally will comes out in either uh, objective question 
or in uh, paper two. Okay, and uh, you need to have uh, at least eight to ten question by using all those equation I've shown you here, those method I've shown you over here. Or otherwise, you'll find it really hard to uh, answer. Okay, all you need to do is to practice how to make use of this equation. Those number here is for one atom. That's why I notify it's one atom. When you have five gram, then how do you get? How many energy are there in five gram? You need to at least practice you know, eight to ten questions, really. I hope you like my video. I hope it helps you. I hope you excel in a you will be really good at, uh, you are able to score in from 5 physics or perhaps in physics paper, you get an A, I hope. I think if it is the first time watching my video, kindly subscribe to my channel and appreciate the thumbs up button. Until then, stay tuned to my next video.